I think we're seeing something in our history, in our present moment, which is changing everything around. We're seeing the younger generation coming together from all different types of race, and that's showing where humanity is going. And I can't wait for this new generation to be in charge and be our future leaders. And I think this represents the fact that we have this movement. It's not going anywhere. If anything, it's going to be enhanced, implemented. And I wish for the day that we come together and equality is no longer an issue, but something that we experience all here on this planet Earth because we all deserve the right to live a loving, abundant life. My name is Rodney Gaston, and I just graduated from Olympic High School. I just came here to take some pictures of my family support of Black Lives Matter movement. I think since they're finally listening, they were, they're gonna incorporate this into like our history. They're gonna start teaching in the schools. So like, not like electives, but main classes. It makes me happy that people are actually listening and actually care. I think this generation is going to continue with what's going on. It's not gonna be a moment, it's a movement. So you can see all different types of people, all different types of countries, all over the world. All 50 states have been doing protesting. So we're here to make a change and hopefully it happens sooner than later. Currently I'm working with this initiative on using art as a tool to express the feelings and thoughts and opinions that are happening around our country right now. I'm here today on South Tryon, uh, working on a little piece. Uh, you know, the whole point of this is to bring awareness more so than anything and start bringing up big conversations. I think ones that we've been avoiding for a very long time because it's the easy thing. Um, and I think we're all just out here trying to make any difference we can. Do whatever you can with what you have sort of deal. Uh, we can't all be, you know, out on the streets every day or we can't do this or we can't do that. But, you know, if this is the smallest thing I can do, it's, I'm pretty happy with it. So this is all about giving. Uh, you just give these things away and you, you don't really care about what you get as an individual. I think it's a lot more about what you can do for the whole because I think we're all pretty tired of having this conversation. It's not, really shouldn't even happen anymore. You'd think we'd be over it by now, but here we are. Every, every year, every other couple months, you know, memorial was, we keep adding names, you know. We're, as we're adding names, we're adding new names. Imagine. So we're just trying to make a difference in whatever way we can, peacefully, of course, and they just try to bring joy in this, you know, where we're at right now, all this turmoil, so. So I was inspired to do love with a bunch of colors because colors are my thing. Like, I feel like bright colors bring good energy. It brings, you know, a good vibe into a room or into an area, and it just, it makes you not want to do any harm. That's how I feel, so, and of course, Love is the like highest vibration, the highest form, the highest frequency out there. So that was my inspiration, um, especially with everything that's going on right now. You know, I was inspired to do love, and it's my thing. Love is my thing. You know what I mean? Love everybody. Love everybody. You don't have to like them. Love them.